to pray together as students. Okay? Learn to pray together. I say learn because it's a real learning. Don't think it's so easy. And I would say learn to pray, number one, as partners. You should find a partner. You should find some some person, someone. You know, that praying partner, they don't have to look like you, talk like you, walk like you. They may be very different from you. But if they have a heart to pray, that's the partner you want. So find a praying partner while you're in college. It will change your life. Secondly, find a small group to pray in. Not just one other person. Find a group, a small group to pray with. It will become an incredible experience in your college career. Then I would say another level is find a home group to pray with. That's even another level. A home group to pray with. And then finally, learn to pray with the whole church. You know, most places where you're from, where you live, the church probably has a prayer meeting on either Wednesday or Tuesday night. That's a common practice with many churches. Learn to pray with the whole church. This is a great thing. Listen, you're pouring the foundation for the way you will live the rest of your church life. Don't think you can live one way in your college years, like so many think, and then after they finish college and start their after-college life, it's going to be that much different. It is not. As a matter of fact, probably you'll have less pursuit of Christ after college than you will during college because life gets busy with many things. The enemy wants to come in and steal away your time to pursue and enjoy Christ. So these matters, learn to develop these habits today. Go to the prayer meeting. Do it. Drive a stake in the ground. Just say, you know what? I'm going to the prayer meeting every Wednesday night, no matter what. Be that person. Be that way. Develop that kind of attitude because it will affect everything positively. I had three tests Thursday morning one time. Three tests, back to back, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, one semester. But you know what? By the Lord's mercy, I had developed a habit of going to the prayer meeting. So I was with a study group Wednesday afternoon, and we were going to study all the way through. And I got up and I was leaving, and they're like, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the prayer meeting of the church. Where else? You're crazy, man. You're crazy. I said, you're right. I am. (laughs) So I went to the prayer meeting. I took my test. I did fine. I didn't make straight 100s. But you know what? I got my degree. I did well. I did well. Okay? Pay the price. Pray. Can you all say that? Pray. One more time. Stronger. Pray. Yeah. The easiest thing to give up as a college student in your Christian life is prayer. Because you think, ah, what's prayer going to do? Oh, it's only going to turn the age. It's only going to build up the body of Christ. It's only going to bring in the kingdom. Pray, right? It has a massive impact on what goes on in the unseen spiritual realm. Okay. Two verses quickly. Acts 2.42. And this verse here says, And they continued steadfastly. The last part of that verse says, In the prayers. So to continue steadfastly as a Christian, guess what you need to learn to do? You must learn to pray. Okay, don't raise your hand, but how many of you would say you have a prayer life? I ask that question. How many of you have a prayer life? Do you pray? I just asked the question. Well, if you want to continue steadfastly, Let me ask you this question. Do you want to continue steadfastly? If you do, you must develop a prayer life. Okay? So critical. Then Acts 3.1 is a particular example there. Right here you can add that verse. And that's Peter and John were going up to the ninth hour prayer. That means they had a scheduled time. Those two brothers, they had a scheduled time 
to go up and pray together. So I want to ask you, how about you? How about you put your name and your other brother or sister you know really well. Now, so-and-so and so-and-so went up to the ninth hour to pray. That's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. They went up to pray at 3 p.m. Do it. <laughs>